St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, and it reads, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here for a bear, a time of tribulation never seen before. Let's get that definition. Straight up doom and gloom. Remember, remember we're here to tell you what's going to happen before it even happened. The Lord is not going to heal Babylon and great America. Can we get the can we get the definition? Can we play it? Tribulation. There we go. Tribulation. A cause of great trouble or suffering. The Lord said suffering never seen before. Tribulation never seen before. Trouble never seen before. Anxiety never seen before. Hardship never seen before. Tragedy, affliction, difficulties, problems, issues, distress, misery, sadness, headaches, woe, pain. Travails, anguish, never seen before, man. We're in the beginning stages of it. Seek the Lord, Israel. Let's get it again. St. Matthew 24, 21. Because our job is to prophesy. Is to let you know what's going to happen before it even happened. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. And it reads, for then shall be great tribulation. Enough things to worry about. Enough troubles, anarchy, headaches, anxiety attacks, just gloom, gloom and doom, doom and gloom. For this shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. The Lord said tribulation like never you ain't you ain't seen it before, you ain't heard of about it before. You ain't seen it before. You ain't heard about it before. You heard about the flood. You heard about 70 AD. World War I. World War II. We heard about that. Pearl Harbor. Oh, you, just, you, you just name it. What the Lord said, a day of trouble, a day of distress, a day of doom and gloom. You ain't never heard of this. You ain't, you ain't never heard of this. Nor... No, nor ever shall be. The Lord said the day is coming. It ain't never been a day like it. It ain't going to never be a day like it after it, man. The nuclear fire. Just ninja, ninjas trying to get the hell out of Dodge, man. And shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done? I want to go here. Let's go here. Let's go to St. Luke. St. Luke chapter 12. And the Lord said, give them one for me. You're going to know that a prophet had been among you. You're going to know that a prophet had been among you. Let's get this. St. Luke chapter 12. Damn, doom and gloom. St. Luke chapter 12. We'll read verse. Um, we'll just get this. Verse 51, St. Luke chapter 12, verse 51, and it reads, Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. That's what people are thinking the Lord is coming back to do. Give peace on the earth. I tell you, nay, the Lord said, no, I'm not doing that. But rather, division. Look, look, look. Division, man, meaning ain't nobody getting along. Everybody's going to be at odds. Never seen before. Like never before, they're going to be at odds with each other. Matter of fact, that, that brings me to this scripture right here, St. Matthew, the 10th chapter. Let's go here. You think people going at, you think family members are going at each other's heads right about now? We ain't seen nothing yet. St. Matthew, chapter 10. 
Let's get this. Say Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. This is what we keep warning our people about, man. Ain't no brightness in it, man. No brightness. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. The Lord said, the only thing I'm bringing is destruction, right? For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. That's division for you right there. That's, that's, some, that's some showing up division for you, ain't it though? And a man's foes, no, nobody in the household is going to be getting along. How much more people outside the house? How much more people outside the house? And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Because you got these false prophets telling you that it's going to be peace. But what is the Lord telling you? You know what the red letter means, right? You should know by now. All you Bible thumpers, right? All you Israelites out there to read the Bible, you should know what that red letter, who, who, that, who that was, right? That's the Lord speaking, who they can call Jesus, Yahweh Shai. Second Edge chapter 15. I read one and I jump down. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened, which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. Let's jump down. Verse 5, Behold, save the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, the sore arrows of famine too. Deletion straight up, just death everywhere, man. And destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. So we ain't seen nothing yet. I want to jump down. We ain't seen nothing yet. Verse 15, 2nd Edges chapter 15, verse 15, and it reads, For the sword and their destruction draw of night, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. The Lord said, Egyptians shall fight against the Egyptians. Babylonians against Babylonians. Americans, Americans against Americans. Right? For the sword and their destruction draw of night, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, weaponry. Weaponry in their hand. For there should be sedition among men, and invading one another. People are going to be in and out of these buildings, in and out of these households. You name it. Look, like never before. I read tribulation earlier, right? Great tribulation. Never seen before, right? And they shall not regard their kings nor princes. They don't want to hear what the president got to say. Whoever, whoever is going to get elected to be presidents of the United Snakes of America, these people ain't going to care, man. Who it is, they shall not regard their kings, their damn mayors, the governors, the community leaders, these false pastors, these false prophet leaders. These people are going to lose it, man. All right? They're going to put down the Bibles and they're going to pick up the blickies. They're going to put down the Bibles. They're going to pick up, if they, if they even read the Bible. Bet, bet they're going to show them swing that bat, man. In your, in your head, you know what I'm saying? The thing that sit on top of your, um, your shoulders, the thing that sit right on top of your neck, that might be that might end up being the baseball. You like, you like that one, huh? You like that one. That thing that's sitting right on top of that neck might end up, they got the bat, that thing that's sitting right on top of your neck might end up being the baseball. How you like them apples? How you like them apples? And the course of their actions shall stand in their power, right? City blocks are going to be, they're going to take over city blocks and all that, man. You see, they're going to take over neighborhoods. A man shall, des shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's how bad it's going to get. They, they're going to have to eventually um, call in the troops. Martial law will have to be declared. It's going to get that bad, Israel. But, but you keep playing around, ignoring the word, or you have it your way. 
It says, it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And the Lord is bringing it all. It's the Lord that's bringing it. That's a scary thing about it. It's the Lord that's bringing it. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, with weapons, and spoil me to take their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's what we're telling our people. Ain't nobody listening. They're, they're doom and gloom. Remember, the Lord said he's not going to heal Babylon the great. And you Israelites has been playing around for all these years. You seen the prophecies kicking in. You want to have your you want to have your fun up. You try to ignore the prophets as long as you could. And now look, you try to ignore the prophets, the, the the words that the prophets were speaking according to the Bible. You try to ignore it all these years, but now look, now it's time to face their music. Ain't that some? Ain't that a, ain't that a burr? Ain't that some ish? You try to ignore the word, and I'm saying then the word coming back full circle. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Here we go again. Great tribulation again. Here go great tribulation again. St. Matthew, you know what I'm saying, was saying the same thing. All the prophets are saying the same thing. Let's get this. Just something quick. And then the Lord said, greater evils like none before. Greater evils not even heard about, not even written about. Greater evils, man. Damn doom and damn gloom. And the Lord said, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. Let's get this. Jeremiah, chapter 28. You know where we're going. Jeremiah chapter 28, the Lord said, give them warning, give them warning. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 28. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. And it reads, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. Told you what was going to happen before it even happened. You people are in for a rude awakening, man. You people are in for a rude awakening, man. The prophets prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You people are in for a rude awakening, man. Remember, you were warned. This devil's going to come in like a flood. Knowing that he only got a sharp time to rule, he was, he was, he was um, unleashing AKA is showing some of his technology. He's showing the robots that he's going to use on people. He's showing the um, robot dogs that he's going to be using on people. The robots, you no know saying, with the tires that's going to roll over people. He's been showing you that. But seeing is believing, right? Shalom.